hello everyone and welcome to a new video and in this video today i will discuss about sap ABAP programming actually i'll be talking about various types of internal tables like standard sorted and hash table you know there are three types of internal table standard sorted and hash table so i will now briefly discuss about all these three types so first we will start with standard table so in the standard table we should define like suppose i am defining an internal table in table standard table of cost center with non unique key cost center plan and now i am reading this internal table with table key cost center and plan and here what we will see that suppose we have the data in internal table and that is unsorted so if we use standard table so in that it will search from the first it is actually in a standard table it searches sequentially it is not sorted suppose when you have a large number of data so in that case so your response time will be very large you know the response time for key access is proportional to the number of entries in the table so so it is better to know that when you are using a small table in that those cases standard table is first but when you are using large number of entries then you should move to either sorted or hash table so now we will move to sorted table suppose in the similar way for the same example now we will use sorted table so in this case what happens this internal table will be sorted you know in the internal table will be sorted you now with the table key and here my table key is cost center and plant so according to this example so the table will be sorted and 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 the result will be faster and as it is sorted the system will use binary search so this is very important part to notice sorted table allows binary search and here you can either you can specify a unique or non unique key so now we go to the last one hash table so in the case of hash table so we have to use the unique key and this is very important part to notice that in the hash table we have to use unique key and here we have used unique key as cost center and plant and in this left hand side picture we have the internal table data and once we use and once we are reading internal table data the system automatically creates a hash map so in this hash map you know the system uh, automatically creates a kind of a structure and where those data can be uniquely identified so it is what system calculates inside this program and there are two basic features that we should know that the key of a hash table must be unique and the system accesses the table entries using a hash algorithm so basically the idea is when you have uh, when you have a small entries in internal table then you should use standard table or either hash table or sorted table but you know, when you are using a internal table where, where you have a large number of data you should definitely use sorted table or hash table for faster access so thanks for watching this video and you can visit our facebook page and also this is our youtube channel sap learning academy so thanks for watching please subscribe this video and see you later